Georgia Southern and Georgia State, a contentious in-state rivalry, heats up for the rubber match. The Panthers won earlier this season in Statesboro, while the Eagles came in just 12 days ago and won in the GSU Sports Arena for the first time since 1992. Tonight, they meet again. It's the Sun Belt Championship quarterfinal. The winner moves on to New Orleans. That's next on ESPN+. Plus. Watching Sun Belt Championship on ESPN Plus. From the GSU Sports Arena downtown Atlanta, it is the Georgia State Panthers against the Georgia Southern Eagles. Truck, take a look. Yes. Standing the first bank and trust Sun Belt Championship bracket. As yes, that first round, Louisiana makes it in Arkansas State. Coastal. Then they met App. Appalachian State took that game 70 to 65 on your screen, and you have it tonight here, Georgia Southern and Georgia State. Welcome everybody to the Cater Street. No bulletin board, but material needed for this one. It's the third time around, but this right. time it's here in Atlanta. The rubber match between these two teams. No doubt about it. Both teams know each other. Now it's all about who wants it bad enough here tonight. So a strange year with this turn with, with this with this matchup right. because Georgia State wins there right. and Southern wins here. That's right. So both teams are looking for a little get back to break the tie this season. It's going to be interesting to see who comes to play tonight. It is tournament time. Let's take a look at the players to watch for tonight's quarterfinal round of the Sun Belt Conference tournament, starting with the visitors from Statesboro. Yes, it's the big fella, Isaiah Crawley from Ripley's, believe it or not, Tennessee, six foot seven, two hundred and ten pounds, fourteen points, eight rebounds. Three assists, 20 minutes versus Monroe. And how about for the home team, Georgia State? Yes, Kane Williams. Douglasville, Georgia, six foot, 390 pounds, junior. Once again, had a fantastic season, been the quarterback all year long. Certainly looking to continue tonight. Teams on the floor, crowd still fouling in, yes. expecting to be a sellout crowd here tonight. Students have been, by, been here early behind us, Sam. And here's the series. You've been a part of some of those games. No doubt. 61st meeting, as you see on your screen. We'll see what happens tonight. <laughs> Off to a great start. David Wilson with the basket. Yeah. Georgia State up to a 2 nothing lead. That's your long senior looking to really, really get things going tonight. Start the pace. Here are your starters for Georgia Southern. Yes. Ike Smith, Calvin Wishart. Juan Jackson, Elijah McFadden, and Isaiah Crawley, that man we talked about from Ripley, Tennessee. Southern basketball down. That triggers the inbound play, and that's Juan Jackson. Loses the handle on him. Gets it back. And here's Crawley driving in. Gets it up, doesn't get it to fall. An opportunity for a turnover there, but ball bounces right back. Jackson, who's sitting there on the floor. Man, unbelievable, right? It looks like Kane Williams had a direct feed to it, just couldn't get his hands on it. That's going to be the tail of the tape right there as we look at Mark Byington, Sam. Mark Byington, the coach is short at 17. Dramatic man over at Louisiana yes. Monday night to get here. Two point victory. I think Louisiana was up by 15 points going down the stretch. The Eagles found a way to. Get back into it and come out with a victory. Both free throw shots. Free throw attempts to get back. Probably he just started for Georgia State. Damon Wilson, Justin Roberts, Nelson Phillips, Kane Williams, and Jalen Thomas. Wilson missing it. Rebound fault for it. McCatton brings it down. McCatton's one of those guys that kind of does everything for this Eagle team. Long arms. Driving and puts it up and in. 6-4, 4 guard, sophomore to Rocky Mountain, North Carolina. Georgia Southern now with the lead at 4-2. Justin Roberts driving, give it up. Jalen Thomas. All about Georgia State with those young freshman big men in there. If they can get something out of those guys, it'll be tough for the, for the Eagles to stop. Thomas coming up with 14-point performance in the win over Little Rock in the regular season finale. We're all tied at four. 
Shot clock at 12. Get it back out. Smith, turnover. Taken away by Nelson Phillips. Now the ball's tied up. We're going to get a possession arrow. Jump ball, possession arrow direction to Georgia Southern. Take another look. Just lost the handle on that one. Well, I think if he would have waited, if he would have waited, it would have been a backcourt violation for Georgia Southern. It would have been Georgia State's ball, but, you know, Nelson wants to get that hustle in. What they want to do to get things started. And there's a lot of energy, a lot of energy oh, right now. A lot of energy, a lot of energy in this game last time. You had some miscues because of that energy. I think both teams will settle down now. And they find a way to channel it in the right direction. No doubt. All tied at four here. You're still early on in the first half here in downtown Atlanta. Here's McCadden weaving his way. Now turn around, base up, throws it up there. Doesn't get the roll, but there's Carly to put it back up and in. We saw a lot of that last time they were in town. Yes, no doubt about it. And that's what the Panthers have to do. Limit those second chance opportunities. Kane Williams loses the handle. Back the other way, I slip. Ball knocked away. Now Carly, McCadden there to put it back up and in. Good hustle back by Chris Clerkley to knock that ball away. Clerkley made the hustle. Eagles still find a way to pick it up. McCadden now has four points. 8-4. Georgia Southern lead. Wilson shooting from the corner. Doesn't get it. Rebound taken down by Woodshark. Ball deflected. That time by Damon Wilson. Just got a hand up. It goes out of bounds. Good for Georgia Southern basketball. Hopefully in this game, Sam, you'll see both of these teams settle down, get into their offense, and kind of run, run what they came here to do. Got Corey Allen up off the bench, ready to report for Georgia State next time play stops. He's like Smith, driving in, bats out. Now he's going to take the fade away. Doesn't get it. Rebound comes off to Kane Williams. Williams up the floor. Here's Wilson, way across court. Nelson Phillips for three. Doesn't get it. Rebound brought away that time by Crawley. Wishard makes the three. That's what he does. Spot shooter. Calvin Wishard, 6'2 sophomore guard from Delano, Minnesota. 11 for the score. Wilson firing away again. Missing that one. Rebound that's Kane Williams inside. Puts it up and in. Win on the offensive glass that time. Wishard loses a handle, but there's Ike Smith with it. There you field goal percentages early on here. Yes. Yeah. So stuff is shooting the ball very well. Crawley drives continue. right to the basket. Yes. And he's off to a big start here. Got six points, got two rebounds. Williams shooting. Missing that one. Nelson Phillips almost knocks it free, but Mike Smith with the rebound for Georgia Southern. He thinks about the three-pointer. Now gives up McCadden's going to drive in. Now he backs back out. Crawley, long pass. Juan Jackson catches it, fading away. Doesn't get it. Rebound, fall for Crawley's got it. McCadden grabbing in traffic. Weak shot for three. Missing it. Rebound, fall for. Here comes Damon Wilson with it. Wilson going to try to grab it all the way. Have to get the pass. Nelson Phillips not ready for it. That's going to bring us to our first break. First break, a lot of tension with the teams. See if they can settle it down. 15-30 to go in the first half. Georgia Southern with the lead here on the Cater Street. I had the chance to talk to Kane Williams and Justin Roberts a couple of days ago about this matchup. I asked Kane Williams specifically what it would mean for Georgia State to get their third straight Sun Belt Championship, and he said he's not really thinking about that right now. He said he's going game by game, but guys, you know this. If GSU gets it done, Kane Williams is going down in the history books as having had three straight Sun Belt Championships, and of course, with Justin Roberts, I asked him if he was a little bit nervous with this being his first tournament game. He said no nerves, but that he understands the magnitude of this game. So right about that, J.L. Rucker, yes. knowing the importance of this one, Rodney. Oh, no doubt about it. Once again, don't, no need to get the blood pumping for this one. <laughs> right now, the Eagles have come out on top, looking to see if the Panthers have an answer. As we go back to work. And for David Lee Jones, Jr., with the basketball, seeing his first section of the game. Also, 23, Simeon Carter, 
in the game. Puts it up there. He gets it to fall that time for Quan Jackson. Red shirt junior out of Tallahassee, Florida. Corey Allen in the game now for Georgia State. Devontae Ivory. Joe Jones the third also. Here's Allen on the dribble. Shot clock at 10. Justin Roberts running the attack here. Shot clock at 5. Roberts cross-court pass. Catch, shoot, deflected that time. McCadden got a hand on that shot by Allen. Back the other way come the Eagles in a hurry. Five. Team of six lead right now. Baffert's trying to get their footing here. Side. Here's Jackson missing that shot and the rebound. He's away to Nelson Phillips. Jackson has really struggled to shoot the ball in this building, Sam. Joe Jones the third. Back to Phillips. Dribble drive, short jumper. Doesn't get it to fall. Joe Jones the rebound. Corey Allen thinks about it, comes inside the arc. Phillips for three. That one won't go. Rebound comes away. Jones. Jones dribbles all the way, almost loses the handle on his Ike Smith. Missing. Jones took an extra step right there. Long pass, Nelson Phillips. Drives in traffic, can't get it to go. Ball's loose on the deck. Hey, Ivory. Devontae Ivory, the sophomore from Stockbridge with the basket. Look what I found right there. The ball rolled right to him. Picks it up and lays it in. 6 of 12 shooting for Georgia Southern. 4 of 13 shooting for the Panthers. Having trouble finding the perimeter of the game to start the game tonight. McGadden. 10 seconds on that shot clock. Ike Smith. Ball loose. Ivory comes away with it, and he gets a thousand words exchange. I know this is in the game. And the officials are going to want to step in and make sure this doesn't get out of control. Yeah, they know the magnitude of this rivalry. They can tell by the crowds going at it on both sides. Here's another look at it. And, and Ivory maybe thought Jones maybe went at his knees a little bit there. And then he gets up talking a little something. You know? Let's see what the officials rule on this. Uh, they want to make sure and keep. Yeah. Okay, double technical, double technical fouls. Yes. Both David Lee Jones and on Kibante Ivory. Those will reflect this personal foul. You know, neither team is uh, looking to back down from the other one here. Everybody understands where we are here, what the magnitude is of this game. Corey Allen, catch, shoot. Got it. That's big for him. That is big for him, Sam. To the Georgia Southern lead is four. McGadden. Jones thinks about a drive, pass it up. It's called for travel. Took a step before he put it on the floor. Yeah, a little, a little healthy skelter there. Flustered now. The crowd is loud and screaming. You gotta keep your head in this point in time. I'm, su I'm surprised Coach Boynton didn't give uh, get David Lee Jones Jr. off the court uh, after that technical. Yep, he's going off now. 23, Simeon Carter returns. Now we got more going on at the scorers table. They're making sure everything is being properly reflected. I can remember David Lee Jones having words with DeMarcus Simon even last year. It seems like these, these, these guys know each other. <laughs> Very and I don't well. know why, but he's from Tampa. He's from Tampa, Florida. Uh, you know, a lot left. of these guys get a chance to play in the summer league together. Let's see what was happening in the scores table. Might be trying to get the clock right. I don't know. And it'll be Georgia State basketball. 
12.33 to go here in the first half. Georgia Southern with a 15-11 lead. Jalen Thomas up off the bench, ready to report next to Georgia State. Pass, it got right through everybody. Kane Williams with a nice pass, but it got right through. Damon Wilson wasn't expecting it. Wilson tries to appeal that the ball was deflected. I thought it was. I mean, it went off of someone's shoulder. It changed directions there. The referees did not see any of that. And now you see the turnover so far in the game. Two for Georgia Southern. Three for the Panthers. McCadden, there's Crawley. Dribble out of Wilson. Ball again kind of got stuck on his hip there for a minute. Yes, he called for travel. And he pissed off, so I think the referee saw him drag that foot. Another look at it. Look like this. Yeah, just go. Ah. Yep. <laughs> nah. Just couldn't get it out. <laughs> well, the ball goes back over to Georgia State. Under 12 minutes to play in the first half. Josh Linder, number 20 in the game now. Long cross court pass. Allen on the dribble. Jalen Thomas. Back out to Kane Williams. He's got 12 seconds on that shot clock. Williams on the dribble. Thinks about the short jumper inside to Jalen Thomas. He got it! Yes, nice pass. Nice pass by Kane Williams setting that up from the beginning. Being patient. And also the young big fellas expecting a pass. That's very Anticipating true. it. Seems yeah. like it's taken them all season to get used to that. Yeah. Two-point lead. Juan Jackson missing. There's Carter. Eagles with another possession. They get 20 seconds. Outside, missing that one. Rebound to Kane Williams. Georgia State with a chance to tie to take the lead this time up the floor. Damon Wilson drives, cross court pass, Corey Allen. Jumping for two, got that one. Yeah. Allen steps inside the strike. And gets the jump, we're all tied at 15. New ball game, shows his maturity. Things weren't going for him out, you know, beyond the arc. He just drove, took, 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 took a nice jump shot. Very smart play. Crowd did a good to it. Crowley, wins shot, gonna take the three. Makes it. And he puts a little finger up to his lips. It looks like quiet the house. <laughs> oh, yeah. is that got a night. You gotta love it. You gotta that love got it. got a night. Eagles back up by three. Lob pass. Josh Linder inside. Puts it up there. Doesn't fall. Got a bounce. And it'll be Georgia Southern's basketball when we return. Going to take a break. Got 10.04 to go in the first half. Eagles with an 18-15 lead. We play in downtown Atlanta. Back at the GSU Sports Arena, the place has been loud and rocking for these two teams tonight. Here are the Panthers. Yes, they've reached the Sun Belt Championship semifinals five out of the last six seasons. Two time defending SBC tournament champions. And then you know, you talk to Coach Lanier talking about this team is not any of those teams. And so this team has to kind of find their own identity, and they have to find it tonight. He has said all season long, this team is not defending anything. There's so few players on this team that played vital roles last season. Uh, this is a new team, a different team, and they're having to find their own way. We've seen some growing pains That's right. this year, but tonight is the night you want to see it all come together. No doubt about it. Back to action here. Under 10 minutes to play. Georgia Southern with the basketball. There's Winshook. That's out Juan Jackson. Backing in. Hangs in the air. That's Crawley with it. Shot clock still winding down, but he makes the basket. Unbelievable right there. Too many second chance opportunities for the Georgia State Panthers. Georgia Southern's taking advantage of it. Eight points now for Crawley. Kane Williams with the basket here to get that one back. It's 2017. Williams now four points in the game for Georgia State. Wind shot in traffic. Simeon Carter from outside. Crawley takes that rebound. Three white jerseys around there. Somehow Crawley ends up with that rebound. In traffic, puts it up and in. Uh, once again, 
as Jalen Thomas just slow to the basketball. Remember, he was playing high school basketball this time last year. Kane Williams, jumper, letting go. Got blocked that time, out of bounds. We check in now with J.L. Rucker. J.L.? Sam, Rodney, I just want to add to what you guys are saying. Coach Lanier was not happy with the amount of second chance opportunities that Southern has given. He feels like they are getting way too many easy points on the paint. So Coach Lanier feels the same way. Very true. He's making some changes in the, in the front line to make sure that we can, you know, get the uh, Eagles off of those second chance opportunities. That's your thing. There's Justin Roberts from outside doesn't get it. Rebound. Winshark. Winshark sky and high. Okay. Jackson on the dribble, hangs in the air, gets it off the glass. Nice mm -hmm. shot, Quan Jackson from Tallahassee, Florida. Ball loose, back outside. Hand Williams doesn't get it to fall. Here's Crawley leading the break. Outside for Winshark, can't come up with it. Damon Wilson driving in, can't get it to fall. Ball saved in bounds. Seven forty-two to go in the game. Shot clock at ten. Justin Roberts gives it up. Kane Williams from the corner. Got it. Big three-point shot. Brings the Panthers to within four. Panthers got to get a stop. Winshaw driving all the way in. Let's get that one to go that time. Loses the handle. Got to head to Roberts. High off the glass and got it. Yes. I think uh, Crawley had a feed in on that stop block, but uh, Jones the second got it its way. Roberts' first basket of the ball game. Georgia Southern lead is two. Got a whistle. Mark Byington wants to talk about it with his team. Bynes is up. Uh, don't want this thing to, the momentum to shift too much. There's Mark, timeout right there. Eagles going to circle the wagons and talk about it with 7.03 to go until halftime. They got a two-point lead, but the Panthers fighting back here in the Sun Belt Championship quarterfinal. tournament game here at the GAC Sports Arena. Sam, Rodney, I want to go back to what you guys were talking about before the break about Kane Williams. Now, I told you guys earlier that I talked to Kane a couple days ago, and he told me that he's going to be relying on his leadership to guide these younger guys, and even the other players, because they haven't been there. They haven't experienced this. Kane has. We'll be watching for that. Indeed, he's the leader. Spent some time this week to talk with Damon Wilson. He talked about when his teams played last time and how right. the crowd maybe got the best of the team. And the crowd was here to see them. Yeah, but they were focused, focused on other things. And so, you know, as we look at uh, what's on the screen, he earned all Sun Belt second team honors, averaging 14.6 points per game, 4.4 assists. Kane has had a great year in his junior campaign. Uh, certainly looking for him to get better and better, but I think he wants to continue playing. Yep, want to play more basketball in New Orleans next game. Exactly. That's what these guys want if we get back to work here. Less than seven minutes to play here in the first half of Georgia Southern with a two-point lead. Seeing long cross-court pass. Jones back out. McCadden, the floater, doesn't go. Rebound fought for, and here's Justin Roberts. On the way with it to Georgia State. Roberts on the drive. Corey Allen catching. And he got a whistle. And he put that little elbow out there. You do that and you call for foul. Foul against Corey Allen. Yeah. Either you put the elbow out or you lower the shoulder. The referees are looking for that play more and more often. Right, more right yep. there. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. The ball goes back over here to Georgia Southern. They got a two point lead. 624 to play. First half. Crowd's a little anxious. The Panthers a little anxious. Georgia Southern just looking to looking real relaxed and playing good strong basketball. 
Cadden driving, stepped on the end line. Ball goes back over to Georgia State. And the interesting thing about the Eagles, they they can they can drive to the basket and handle the ball at all five positions on the floor right now. That is something they do. You saw that when they were here 12 days ago. Ball loose, turnover. Yeah, the question you ask yourself is, where was Justin going? <laughs> where was he going? So the ball goes back to Georgia Southern. Shoot up there, Simeon Carter doesn't get that one to fall. Got an open look. Simeon never met a shot he didn't like. Allen drives, kicks it back out. Ivory thinks about the three. Now he's going to drive. Puts up the floater, doesn't get it. Gets it on rebound. Puts it back up. Then Joe Jones is there. Knocked away. Jones gets the ball back up. Ivory with it. Turns. Gets it to go. Now that was nothing that Coach Lanier drew up right there. <laughs> a little bit of health to scale to basketball for the Panthers. They become successful, tie this game back up. We are all tied at 24. Five minutes to go until halftime. We'll see if the Panthers can make a stop and take their first lead of the night. Pass back out there, McCadden. Driving in traffic, got a whistle. Ball comes through, got a whistle on the foul call. All right, got one. Gonna be over Vante Ivory. You know, look, and watch the zero here. Georgia State six foul right there. Pretty good acting on uh, McGadden's yeah. part. Yep. Yeah. Budding thespian. <laughs> Let's see. You heard they shoot some movies down here on the Cater Street. Yeah, he said, hey, whenever, whenever, anytime you get an opportunity to showcase your talent, you do it. Do it here tonight. Juan Jackson driving the traffic, the floater that goes. Not that one in the foul. Nice move to the basket. Yes. Juan is really slashing to the bucket and really paying dividends for the Eagles. As you got that foul, that reach in on number two, Justin Roberts. And Jackson rolls that one in. Named to the All Sun Belt second team. Yes. has had an outstanding season. The Georgia Southern lead is back out to three. Wilson on the drive, ball not free. Wilson still fighting for it, comes back up with it. Now there's 10 seconds on the shot clock. Roberts drives, left hand, can't get it to go, got a whistle. That foul's going to be called on Simeon Carter. Wow, boy, that was very close to a turnover right there for the Panthers. Wishart got his hands in there. The Eagles keep their hands in the passing lane. The no foul right there, contact made by Simeon Carter. And here's Justin Roberts. And he makes that first one. Justin shot the ball well in that second meeting down here on Decatur Street versus the Eagles. He was one of the only Panthers that, that was, you know, dialed in that night. Really shot the ball well from outside. All Sun Belt third team honors, averaging 13.5 points per game. And makes that one. And he's going to check out here with 4.18 to go till halftime. And Kane Williams returns for Georgia State. Also checking in David Beattie for 54. Seeing his first action for Georgia Southern. Calvin White sharp with it. Good sharp with it. Driving. And ball goes off. Crawley. Turnover. And the other way comes Georgia State. Under four minutes to play here in the first half. Georgia State can get their first lead of the night. Well, we led early. 2 0. Yeah, 2 0. Oh, first, first basket. Wilson driving. Gets it to go. Kevin Wilson. Just takes it on himself. Yes, he did. Just like he did the first points of the game. Panthers did have that first lead. 2 0. So now the Panthers are back up top now. 28 27. Panthers are looking for a stop. Eagles are looking to take the lead back. Jackson thinks about it. Now on his dribble. Carter thought about it. Seven seconds. Here's Crowley. He won't think about it. He'll put the shot up. 
Missy gets it on rebound and gets that second chance. They cannot keep crawling off the board. He's got 12 points here in the first half. Kane Williams short jumper doesn't get it. Jackson the rebound. Under three minutes to go here. The first half. Jackson. Good shot open in the corner. Not what you want to do right there. Don't leave him alone. Yes, he is a good shooter, especially when he can set his feet and follow through. He now has nine points in the game. Now, just like that, the Georgia Southern lead is back up to 32-28. Nelson Phillips. Look, the defender's got a whistle now. That's a foul. And that was going to be on 54 on David Beatty, his first personal. And we will take one more break here. He's got 225 to play. Eagles hanging to the lead. You're watching Sunbelt Conference Championship Quarterfinal on ESPN+. Plus. Back inside the ESU Sports Arena where Georgia Southern enjoys a 31-28 lead with 225 to play the game. Close ball games. Nothing new for this Georgia Southern team. That's right, 10 of their 20 SBC games were decided by six points or less. They are never out of the game. The Eagles are certainly one of those teams that can come back at any particular point in time. A lot of different weapons, you know, have some experience on this team. They are certainly never out of any contest that they play. But tonight they've been moving with a very familiar weapon so far. as Isaiah Crowley, 12.7 rebounds. You still got 224 to go until halftime. Ball missed there, and then Quan Jackson brings away the rebound for Georgia State. Seven rebounds, Sam. Yeah. Yep. Five offensive. Yep. Getting that getting that second, third opportunity. And he's making it pay off. Jackson with the floater with the left hand. Doesn't get it to fall that time. Raymond Wilson, Corey Allen catching, shooting, doesn't get it. There's Nelson Phillips skying for that rebound. Puts it up and it won't go. Tough shot right there by Nelson. Fantastic rebound. Couldn't get it to pay off now. Minute 43 to halftime. There's Nelson Phillips with the steal. Driving in and put it up and in. All the fellas back in Warner Robins. What an athletic play by Nelson Phillips. He is showing it to you. First points of the game. And now that Georgia Southern lead is cut down to one. Minute 23 to play, first half. There's a whistle. There's that arm coming out. Yeah. Big Ike right there. Foul Ike. called on Ike Smith. Six foot four, senior from Gainesville, Florida. Sam, looks like we've seen Ike play for six years. It seems like he's been around here for a while, isn't he? <laughs> He is one of the veterans of the team. He's going to go out right now. Simeon Carter's going to come back. We've got a minute 20 until halftime. Stay with us at halftime. Sunbelt Commissioner Keith Gill will join us at halftime. We'll get a chance to talk with him about the Sunbelt Conference Tournament and about postseason, his first basketball season as commissioner of the Sunbelt. Seal right here. Ball's getting back to Carter. Not in my house, says David Thomas. Not tonight. Saw a lot of that when this team played here last time. But the young freshman from Detroit got back on defense, made that block. Yeah. Here's another look. That's a basketball play. That's a basketball play. Look at that there. Right, right out. And he gave him a little glare there. Yeah, he but he didn't say glare. anything. He didn't but, say anything. Hey, what, what do you want to say? I mean, he's going for the slam dunk. The young freshman came over the top, made a shot at the block. I'm glad that uh, Mr. Hey, what excites coach. football coach, Coach Sean Elliott. Yeah. He likes that kind of contact. I'm very <laughs> glad Mr. Farley was not injured on that play, but I think it was a basketball play. Basketball play. Got the crowd ignited. And it's a little bit of what Jalen Thomas, when you talk to him, he always says, you know what? I'm, he said, from Detroit, I said, you're going to bring a little of that grit. We'll bring some of that Motown grit. That's how we play <laughs> up in Detroit. And he's brought it down here to the Cater Street. Well, there you go. We got just enough, just enough Eagles fans in here to make it just a fantastic atmosphere for, for some basketball. It really is. It really is. Imagine what 
this time of year is all about. Regrettably, it's going to be a little different this year because of health concerns. And we found out some things with the NCAA tournaments coming up. To our knowledge, games in New Orleans are still going to have uh, the crowds attending. We're going to probably get an update on that tomorrow. We'll see right. the, we'll the commissioner is sharing the thing with us yeah. uh, here at halftime. But as of right now, the plans are for fans to be able to, to attend right. uh, the Sunbelt Conference Tournament this weekend out of New Orleans. I mean, you, you look at the atmosphere right now, Sam, how electrifying it is for both teams, not just the home team. No, but even no. for even for uh, Georgia Southern Eagles, you know, as, as you saw uh, Wishart hit a three and turn around and tell the crowd, you yeah, know, oh. you know, <laughs> the, the Eagles are feeding off the energy of this crowd just as much as the Panthers are, even though we're downtown Atlanta, Georgia on Decatur Street. Very much, very much. The Georgia Southern fans are here. Their cheerleaders and their mascots here. Let's see what we find out. All right, looks like we got a flagrant one on Jalen Thomas, excessive contact. So, you know, that's that's what you're gonna you're gonna get a call right there for flagrant one. Once again, I think just to keep this game under control, I don't understand the call. Not only did he go for the block, he actually blocked the dunk. Yep, right. So he got ball, so it's just kind of interesting to see why the referees would give him a flagrant one. The crowd here in the sports arena has gotten that announcement. They're not pleased, and Crowley misses that first free throw attempt. Sam, I always say it, it's just something about shooting that free throw with nobody. Nobody around. Nobody, nobody there. Nobody yes. And you're in a place where everybody's against you. And he missed both of them. I'm just telling you, I've done it. I've seen it. I've seen 90% free throw shooters go up and miss those shots because it's not a familiar, it's not a familiar atmosphere. The minute six to go, that could be big before these teams go to the locker room for halftime here. Georgia Southern going to get the basketball back here with a one-point lead in the minute six to play. Calvin Winshark going to trigger the inbound play. You always talk about how important this play is. Moves it out there. McCat is going to retrieve it. Warrington gets up and makes his final instructions to the Eagles team. Under a minute to play here. First half. Winshark on the drive. Gives it up. Carter, short jumper. Got that one. Nice. Simeon Carter got a whistle now. And with 46.7 to go, Coach Rob Lanier wants to circle his troops and come up and see how they execute here when yep. we go to the locker room. That's uh, one of the one of the call timeouts that he always makes. 40, 46.7 seconds. I always think you're going to go for a two for one uh, from a Lanier standpoint, but he always just wants that execution and that last final shot to be something that's that's going to pay dividends. You got 46.7 in the game. You got a 30 second shot clock. You could work it all the way down, but like you said, if you go down, move quickly, score, you may give you a chance to get two right. shots at the basket here. I'm very impressed with the, with the Eagles team. They're taking advantage of the Panthers defense, slashing in the right spot, getting the ball in the middle, making drives to the bucket. Uh, once again, when you have Crawley and, and, and McCatton that can put the ball on the floor and get past the, 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 the 6'10 height of Jalen Thomas and Joe Jones, the third, that spells trouble. Winshard, give it up to Simeon Carter yeah. to the basket. His first two point of the game. And now the Panthers with the basketball. Got to come to the floor. Shot clock at 20. Williams, loses the handle, got a hand that reached in there. That's going to be a foul call. Yeah, McCann with those long arms. And the Eagles are not in the bonus right now. The one foul from the bonus. So and now the inbound play. Got a whistle. Damon Wilson moved that foot around before he put the basketball on the floor. Yes, he did. So that's not what Coach Lanier want going now, into the halftime. Now you got 30 seconds. And Georgia Southern could play for the final shot if they wanted to. Yeah. For the first half. Miscues like that at a time like this, that's, you know. Crucial. You always want to go into the locker room with some momentum. And right now, you know, the Panthers will struggle going into the locker room. Uh, down by three, perhaps even more, depending on what the Eagles do on this possession. Nelson Phillips brought back. Kane Williams goes out for Georgia State. Pass. 
And here, Quan Jackson drives in, got a whistle and some foul. Jalen Thomas went for the block on that one. So that's kind of interesting. The Panthers put a little pressure. Ooh. <laughs> Not a lot of contact there, but the referee thought he saw a foul. Yep. Never seen him take one back yet. Nope. That's the third person. <laughs> third person for the freshman from Detroit. Juan Jackson makes that first free throw attempt. Now you're down four. You do have an opportunity to come back and get a good shot, 22.3 seconds. Kind of interesting. The Panthers throw that, that, uh, that token pressure at the Eagles. They broke it with ease. Got a chance to get a good look at the basket with free throws. John Jackson missing that one. Four-point lead here. 20 seconds to go until halftime. Shot clock is off. Let's see how his team executes. Ten seconds to go. Seven seconds. Roberts with it. Five seconds. Williams on the dribble. Pulls up for the long three. Got it to go. Thought he got contact, but he won't get the foul call. Three-point shot. And that's how the first half is going to end. You want a wow. momentum going to the locker room, they got some. That is momentum right there. Should have been a four-point play. That's what a lot of people think. The officials are not going to give it to them. The team's up to the locker room. We're at halftime in downtown Atlanta. Georgia Southern with a one-point lead, 34-33. Stay tuned for halftime and Commissioner Keith Gill coming up next. Back here at the GSU Sports Arena downtown Atlanta. Time to start the second half of the Sun Belt Championship quarterfinal with Georgia Southern. One point lead over Georgia State as we resume hostilities. Yes. One half of basketball to go for a trip to New Orleans. Kane Williams falls, got a whistle there. Mm, McCadden right there. That's interesting to see what that will be on McCadden. That's his second personal. That's his second. Yes, they can't afford to lose him. He's the guy that does a little bit of everything for this Eagle basketball team. Picks up his second. Justin Roberts, pass. Williams driving, little floater, comes up short. Ball's fault four on the deck. Got a whistle. No. No ball comes loose. The pickups still fault four. Got a whistle now. Jump ball as Justin Roberts reached in there with McCadden. Tied him up. Boy, that ball kept squirting along. Hard to hang on to, to this ball to start the second half. Yeah, through people's legs, everything. Let's just take a look at it. Nobody's on the ground. Everybody's trying to bend up. A lot of the coaches that, I, that, that coach me coming up want to see bodies on the ground. Dive for that thing. Yes. So Eagles with it here. Calvin Winshark. Ike Smith on the dribble. Pass balls gets away from Quan Jackson here. Got to put a little trap action right there in front court. Winshark. McCadden, two seconds. Leans in, throws it up there. Not the shot. And he are uh, Mark Byington wanted to see in that situation. Not at all. Once again, almost go through the entire shot clock process without getting a shot up. A desperation one at the end. Didn't even touch the rim. What does that do for a team to come out to start the second half with the defensive stand like that? And there's a driver, there's an offensive foul gonna be called there. Ooh. Damon Wilson. Interesting right there. First of all, I didn't see if McCrawley was in the restricted area. And he was. He was outside the restricted area. So those points off the board and back the other way in a hurry. It's Quan Jackson driving, throws it up, doesn't get it. And Crawley is there for the rebound. Cadden was thinking about a pass to the corner. Thought otherwise. Here we are. 18 minutes and 33 seconds, and the Panthers are already giving up another second chance opportunity and his second one now. Smith with that rebound, and puts it back up and in. Ike Smith pulling down the offensive board and put it back up and in. Miscommunication that time. Justin Roberts comes up and throws that one away. Yes. 
it's amazing. I mean, being a post player myself, there has to be some pride involved in that. You cannot let a guy come in and get six or seven offensive rebounds in one half. That's unacceptable. Here he is with the basketball now, Crawley. Crawley's having a field day. Missing. There he is again. Rebound. Spins in traffic, puts it up and in. Yep. Just doing it any way he wants to do it. Got a whistle, and that's going to be a foul call on Winshark. Another look, Kane Williams driving in. And Richard kind of pushed his, put his arms up a little bit. Interesting, as we talked, I talked to the referees coming out at halftime, Sam, about that flagrant foul call on Jalen Thomas. He talked about how the arm came down, even though he blocked the shot, the arm came down and caught Crawley in the head, so it felt like they had to do, they had to give a flagrant foul to that particular play. Kane Williams makes that second free throw attempt. So the Georgia Southern lead is forward, 38-34. Yep. And Eagles with the basketball. Early in the second half, as we go along, possessions are going to start to dwindle. Clock will become a factor. Quan Jackson from the corner missing that one. Crawley deflects it back for Jackson. Gives him another chance. Even when Crawley can't get the rebound, he's still deflecting it out to his teammates. Kane Williams for three. Got it! Big shot by Kane Williams again. Big shot before the half. Big shot in the second half. Cuts the Georgia Southern lead to one. Williams now with 14 points. Ike Smith thinks about the jumper. Shot clock at eight. Wins a catch. People want to travel. They didn't get it. Three seconds. Smith long three. Doesn't get it. But Winshot gets the long rebound. 50-50 balls are all going Eagles way. They're getting those extra opportunities. The crowd cannot believe the referee on our side right now did not call travel on the Eagles on that play with Wishart. Shot clock at three. Juan Jackson got to get a shot away. Doesn't get it that time, and a rebound comes off of Nelson Phillips. I'm just here to tell you, Sam, I like Quan Jackson as a player, but he can shoot all night long if I was a Panther. <laughs> He just does not shoot well in this building. Nelson Phillips lost the handle on that one, got a whistle, and the ball took out of bounds. Still beat Georgia State basketball. Corey Allen returns, and Justin Roberts going to take a breather. Roberts with four points, three assists. Winshot's going to go out. Crawley going out. Simeon Carter returns. David Lee Jones Jr. back in the game for Georgia Southern. Shot clock at four. Got a whistle. Reaching in there. Simeon Carter is going to get the call, call, call. Going to be Southern's fourth team foul. Interesting stat to keep up with, Sam, in this first half, in the no. second half. Well, it's in that Jones Jr.'s foul. That's his third. 15.53 to go. Panthers hanging tough on Decatur Street. Back inside the GSU Sports Arena, Sam Crenshaw up with Rodney Truck Turner, JL Rucker, the first bank and trust bracket. Yes. Take a look at it. As you see on your screen, a lot of great basketball being played. We get to the quarterfinals, that's where we are tonight. Texas State and App State at 8 p.m. tonight on ESPN Plus. Those are going to be barn burners. Then, those two, those, those are whoever the winner of those two contests will head to New Orleans. Head to New Orleans for this weekend. Yeah. The food alone should make you excited about <laughs> winning a basketball game, you know? I know it. It is motivation to get there. Of course, with this Georgia State team, it's, it, it's, it's almost been something, I won't say something that, that you assume you're going to get, but it's something that has happened for this team 
so often in recent years. This year, they're having to play their way to New Orleans. Yes. And they're having to get there. They got to get through there. Arch rival from downstate, Corey Allen, missing that time, and Simeon Carter the rebound. Ike Smith driving, got a Wilson. That's a foul. That's going to be called on Kane Williams. Now you see Georgia Southern, three team fouls. Panthers picking up their second team foul. I'm watching that closely because, you know, it's going to be interesting to see if, if, if a team gets in the bonus and gets into it early. They'll be shooting free throws for the rest of the night. Second person for Kane Williams. He's going to come out. Devontae Ivory returns to Georgia State. We got Joe Jones, the third, also in the lineup right now for Georgia State. Eagles done a great job. Exterior passing in the first half, finding that middle. Six seconds on the shot clock. Four seconds. Here's Jones Jr. back up in the caddy. And take the long three. Doesn't get it in the rebound. Comes off to Corey Allen. That wasn't the shot that Mark Byington wanted, but that was the one that was left. Allen backs it back out. Justin Roberts on the dribble. Nelson Phillips driving baseline. Inside, short jumper. Got it to go. Wow. Strong move on the baseline by Nelson Phillips. Great pass by Justin Roberts. Panthers back up by one at 39-38. Yeah. Juan Jackson almost loses the handle on that one. Those long arms, I wonder how. <laughs> Mike Smith fades, fires, misses. Joe Jones the third, the rebound. Panthers looking to extend right here. Roberts can't get it. Nelson throws the rebound, but loses the handle on it when he comes down. Quan Jackson again. Sticky fingers. And here he comes on the drive. Is it up there? Count that basket. Oh, nice move right there. Nice move. Strong move to the basket. Off the glass high. Once again, he can shoot as many jump shots as he wanted on, in my book, but slash it to the basket. He's strong. That's what he does very well. It's an up and over the outstretched arms of Joe Jones, the third. He'll depart the game. Josh Linder returns to Georgia State. Jackson now with 10 points. Misses that free throw. Corey Allen, the rebound for Georgia State. We got a whistle. We got a lane violation. Looks like uh, Corey Allen, once you're above that three point line, you can't go in there. Gives Quan Jackson another opportunity. He makes that one. 41 39. Jackson now with 11 points. And Isaiah Crawley has returned to the game. Got a whistle and a travel. Two, Ball tough. Two, two tough calls right there by Justin Roberts. Two turnovers, basically, that you're looking at. Giving Quan Jackson another free throw opportunity and traveling on that play. It's something that man doesn't want to see here in the second half as the clock winds down. Under 14 minutes to go. Georgia Southern back with the basketball in the lead. Jackson falls to the floor. He can't tie him up. Ball's loose. Still finds his way to Carter. Got a whistle. Here, did he step out of bounds? Nope. nope. Foul on, uh, foul on Josh Linder. Josh Linder. <laughs> Panthers cannot find a way to get those 50-50 balls. Ball's loose. Yeah, the Eagles are just finding a way to get those balls every single time. You just see a lot of body right there. Now both teams have three team fouls. Kane Williams back up off the bench, ready to report. Next time, play stops for Georgia State. Jackson, here's Crowley, driving in traffic. A little look off the glass and nice. roll. Got the members bounce. Man, on the sky hook, rolling away from the basket. Nice shot right there. Drive, Wilson missing that shot. Strong move by the senior. Get to the free throw line. Panthers can never get that lead above one point or two points. 
getting over that hump right now. The Eagles are looking to keep the pressure on, keep extending their lead. Yeah, can't get that one to roll and fall. Kane Williams returns. Dante Ivory comes back out to Georgia State. And Damon Wilson makes that free throw attempt. 43 40. They have to show a little pressure here. Got to use a little bit of that shot clock. Make it difficult for the Eagles down the stretch. David Lee Jones, David Lee Jones stands, nice. turns, and makes that one. Nice fadeaway by David Lee Jones. The senior out of Tampa. Making that one in the faithful from Statesboro made their way up. Like what they're seeing. Georgia Southern with the five-point lead. Corey Allen catch, shoot, doesn't get it. Rebound, fault for. Comes off to Jones. Quickly head up the floor to Crowley. Oh, this one, a foul and hitting the floor hard that time. Josh, Josh Linda. Linda. Yes. And Crawley reacts like maybe his right shoulder a little irritated there. Take another look at this. Awkward fall right there by Linda. Glad he's okay. Awkward fall by Linda. We look, look at Crawley here. Crawley's holding that thing. Crawley don't want any player involved in this contest to be injured tonight. Not what you want to see. This is that first free throw attempt. Got Wishart returning. Ike Smith returning. Elijah McCadden returning to Georgia Southern. And 54, David Beatty is up. That's six players on the floor right there. Took Quan Jackson. Took the liberty to go to the bench. Named 13 all preseason, all Sun Belt by the coaches. Isaiah Crawler, 13.3 a game. And missed that free throw attempt. So the lead is five for Georgia Southern. Kane Williams. Got 12.30 to go here in the, in the game. Kane Williams drives this up. Jalen Thomas, shot clock at 10. Back over. Corey Allen, catch, shoot. Doesn't get it. Rebound, fought for, and here's McCadden bringing it away. Can't get a better look than that, Sam. Ball knocked away, and that's going to be a foul call on Kane Williams. And it's going to be six foul. And this foul total is mounting quickly. Third personal foul for Kane Williams. And Kane has Williams going out again, and Nelson Phillips returns for Georgia State. 12-11 to play in the game. Alvin Winshot driving in traffic. The floater that goes. Nice, aggressive. Eagles remain aggressive. He's in double figures now with 10 points. And Georgia Southern lead is seven. Got a foul, and it's a foul call that time on Winshot. And that brings us to another break. Eagles clinging to a seven point lead on Decatur Street. You're watching Sunbelt Conference Championship Quarterfinal on ESPN Plus. 11.46 to go in our game here in downtown Atlanta. You're watching Sunbelt Conference Championship Quarterfinal play. And it's the rubber match. Yeah. The rubber match, huh? Georgia State and Georgia Southern. An unusual year where... The road team won both of the regular season games. That is so rare yes. in this rivalry. You know, you always talk about three, it's, it's, you know, difficult to beat a team three times in one season. But uh, it seems like it's very interesting the way the ball bouncing here, both teams winning on the road, suffering losses at home. So unusual when we talk about the history of this series. Yes. Panthers want to. Uh... Corey Allen. Having again from outside, can't get it to fall. 
Early in the game, he's misfiring from outside. He stepped inside the arc and had success. Lob pass. Timmy and Carter bringing it down. That was nice. Nice call play out of the timeout by Mark Boynton. And that is what we saw when the team was here two weeks ago. Allen on the dribble, back out now. Nine point lead. You approach the 11 minute mark in this game. Roberts on the dribble, shot clock at 10. Wilson on the drive, puts it up and off the glass. Put it for the basket. Damon Wilson, seven points in the game now. Strong move by the senior, the lone senior on this Panther team. Crawley driving past Ike Smith, catch, shoot. Doesn't get it. Crawley's there, but can't get the rebound that time. Nelson Phillips comes away with it. Quickly back up the floor. Roberts, unset. Jayla Thomas. Good four points by the Panthers. Eagles trying to come back and extend their lead. Five-point lead now for Georgia Southern. Approaching the 10-minute mark in the game. Thomas now with six points. You see Nelson Phillips on that on that time down. Took it upon himself to have that heart to go up high and grab that rebound. Ike Smith Ike. spinning, driving, splits the defenders and puts it up and in. For him, Jalen Thomas gets the basket back for Georgia State. They're running that floor, the big fella got down that floor quick. Showing that Detroit motor skills right there. He's got eight points in the game now. Wishart pets inside. Carter catch, shoot, miss it, but Crawley's there with the rebound. Puts it back up, shot, blocked that time by Thomas. Roberts, back it back out. Roberts for three, doesn't get it. McCadden comes with the rebound for Georgia Southern. Approaching the nine minute mark to go here, 51-46. Possessions are going to start getting crucial in this game, Truck. Oh, no doubt about it. Inside, shot blocked again. That time, foul going to be called. Jalen Thompson, he got all ball. Tough call right there. Could be, that's going to be Jalen Thompson's fourth. That's his fourth, fourth personal foul. foul. And then looking at it again, another look. They said, where's the foul? And he's got a little body on him. He blocked the shot. Yeah. And Crawley makes the free throw attempt, and Joe Jones, the third, is going to come back, and Thomas is going to take the seat with 8.55 to play in the game. And he had played very well that last stretch. No doubt about it. Like you said earlier, Sam, looking for those passes inside and got buckets when he got it. Crowley makes that one. Crowley's back to form. And his last two free throws kind of holding his shoulder, trying to see what's going on. Yeah, I got 14 points. Go along with 12 rebounds. He's got that double-double already here. 8.44 to play in the game. Kane Williams, he gets open. Takes the jumper for two, doesn't get it. Crowley, that rebound, that's rebound number 13 for him in this game. Yes, come up big. Taking that time, being deliberate. Yes. Running some of that play clock down. It's McCadden with it. Shot clock at 10. Jones back out to McCadden inside the crawler. He's going to back in. Got a whistle. He took some steps. Yes. Travel. But look at the time they ran off the clock. Yes, down to eight minutes right now. Panthers really got to figure some things in. Not be in a hurry. But you have to play, and you have to execute fast. There's a difference there. Wilson doesn't get it. No second chance opportunities for the Eagles. Here's McCadden on the drive. Juan Jackson going to bring it back out. And like I said, they're going to run that 
Shot clock down again. Mike Smith lays it up there. Shot deflected that time. Got to lay it up there for Crowley. We got a whistle. Like a foul on Justin Roberts there. That's going to be his second personal. We're taking a break. We'll be right back. The Eagles leading here on Decatur Street. Back at the GSU Sports Arena, 7.41 to play in our game. And Georgia Southern with the lead. Here's a look at that last foul right there. Joe Jones, the third on Crowley. Huh. Well, we saw a little contact up high. Felt like uh, Joe Jones, the third, gained a little advantage. Crowley with 15, 14 points, 13 rebounds. When they played last month, here, Crowley had 18 points, 8 rebounds in the game. Yeah, he's feasting, feasting on the offensive boards and the defensive boards. Here, Eagles not giving up any second chance opportunities, but also taking advantage of the second chance opportunities that they get on the uh, offensive end. Mike Smith had 15.6 rebounds in that game, and Woodshark also a double figure for 12. Here's Crawley at the free throw strike, looking for more. Misses that first attempt. He's going to take another one. The senior from Ripley, Tennessee. Yes. 14 points, 13 rebounds. As you mentioned earlier, 4 of 9, 5 of 10 from the free throw line. So we get that one to fall. Giving him 15 points for the game. 56 for 54 46 you score. Josh Linder in the game now. Here's Damon Wilson. Shot clock at 10. Corey Allen driving in a little floater. Get that one to go. Nice shot by Corey on the baseline. Had a couple of nice looks at threes that didn't fall for him. Looking for another, another way to get those offensive opportunities, Sam. Quan Jackson with it here. Under seven minutes to play in our game. Shot clock at nine. Jackson, they're patient with the sh shot clock, working all the way down. Ike Smith with it. Two seconds. Jackson shoots, makes the three. Uh, Drains the shot clock. Yes. It's about time Quan Jackson hit a shot. <laughs> you said you said all night you'd give him that I shot. Him the way he's been shooting in this building the last two games. And we got a whistle here. Officials turn on the floor. Yeah, what could they be looking at? Whether it was a three or a two, or did he get it off before the shot? on time. Yeah, I think yeah. they're probably looking to see if he got it off on time. It's gone there yep. before you hit the zero. So he got it off in time. Now, maybe the question of where his feet were. Could be. Here's another look. Nope, he's well behind he's his Well right. behind the line, yep. Yeah. And we get the signal. It's three point basket. Officials double checking to make sure. Hey, just want to make the right play. In this, be fair. in this day and age when everybody's after officials, that doesn't matter the sport. Oh, no, no doubt about it. Oh, big people officiate it right now. Uh, it's a tough job, but it's always been a tough job. Six twenty-five. They're going again. Six twenty-four. Here's Damon Wilson driving. He got a pass knocked away. Elijah McCadden gets a hand on it. Goes out of bounds. Eagles understand that baseline play. It's been made a lot of a lot of times in these past couple of games. Kane Williams firing away. Doesn't get that one. Rebound fought for. Saved in bounds. McCadden with a big play. Those long arms gets it to Jones. Up the floor he comes. Misses the shot. And here's Damon Wilson with the rebound. Back in a hurry. Loses the handle. And here's Quan Jackson back the other way. Lays it up there. And a finish that time by Ike Smith. Ike Smith. And Kane Williams went after that pass and missed it. He sure did. Looks like he had a pretty good beat on it, but just didn't make the play. Eagles go up by 11. Turnover numbers starting to rise here. Oh, yeah. Seven. 15 points off turnovers. I think the Panthers had the advantage, but uh, the Eagles have really taken advantage of 
the Panthers missteps in the, in the second half. Here's another look, lays it up there. And Kane Williams just misses it. And Ike Smith comes away with it and slams it home. Like he didn't reach all the way. <laughs> They're going to take a break here with 5.48 to go. You're watching Sunbelt Conference Championship Quarterfinal here on ESPN+. Plus. 48 to go here at the GSU Sports Arena. And look at the Georgia Southern team. They got a lead now, but yeah. things have fallen apart for them down the stretch in some games. They have lost up five games after leading by double digits in the second half, including the January 25th matchup versus Georgia State down in Statesboro. Hannah Field, Hannah Fieldhouse. Well, they just won one that they were down double digits. Monday night, they came back for the win over the Raging Cajuns to make their way here for this quarterfinal matchup. Okay, hey, that's going to put Georgia Southern in the bonus. Joe Johnson the third. Joe Jones the third at the free throw line. He's going for his first points of the night. Makes that first free throw attempt. Big fella steps up. Cool, calm, and collective. In Buffalo, New York, 6'9", 245-pound freshman. And that second one rattles and comes out, and Simeon Carter brings that rebound down for Georgia Southern. They lead it out 59-49. Ike Smith driving all the way to the basket, missing it, but who's there but Crawler? And all you need is one hand. That's right. And he's down there with... Uh, Corey Allen that can't compete with that size. Those long arms put it up there. Probably with that basket is Nelson Phillips missing this time. Around taken away by Quan Jackson. 515 to go in the game. And now Georgia Southern's gonna go into the deliberate offensive attack here. Up by a double digit lead. Jackson, the floater that goes. Count that on the five. And the foul on Joe Jones, the third. Everything's going Georgia Southern, but yes. And, and you got to understand, it's an incredible feat for this Eagle team to come into this building in less than a month and get to, you know, and get what looks like their second victory. They are playing with a great deal of confidence, and they are not leaving things to chance here. They are doing it all. Yes, everything is to the basket, strong and hard this second half. 64-49 to score under five minutes of play. Corey Allen can't get it to go. He's a struggle from here on the three-point strike. No second chance opportunities for the Panthers. The Eagles have the boards every single time. Damon Wilson back up off the bench. Juan Jackson just going to dribble. Now in the paint, going to lay it up there off the glass and put nice. it up and in. Beautiful, beautiful move by Quan Jackson. Jackson now with 18 points in the game. And the Eagles can fill it now. Yes. With the lead is 66-49. Pass inside, ball gets away, turn over, ball goes back. The Georgia Southern, Jalen Thomas going to come back in the game. Playing with four fouls, and there you see. Some of the Georgia Southern, Georgia State faithful. Taking an early exit. An early this exit. Game. In this Four game. minutes and 15 seconds left in this contest. Second time the crowd has come out in this field, this building. To take on the arch rival. And the disappointment of falling to Georgia Southern. Four minutes to play in our game. Juan Jackson, you know what he's been doing here. Yes, he certainly made some great plays down the stretch. Crowley, Ike Smith on the dribble. Underneath, fade away, doesn't get it. Wind shot the rebound. Yes, once again, your guards have to box out just like your post players do. Another shot clock. Ball knocked loose. Juan Jackson bounces underneath. Crowley, four seconds. McCadden wants to get off the shot. Long three. Got it. Dagger. Yes. Whistle. Yes. Timeout. The Eagle three faithful. 19 to go. Folks from Statesboro loving it. The Eagle faithful. 
Big shot. Eagles living large on the Gator Street. Back at the GSU Sports Arena, downtown Atlanta. Sam Crenshaw along with Rodney Turner, J.L. Rucker. And that kind of says it all, doesn't it? Yes. Southern, not state. We always talk about who the real GSU is. And in the past four years, it's been the, the real GSU has been in Atlanta. But today, tonight, you know, Georgia Southern has ruled this building. And you hear from the from the small crowd of, of uh, Eagles that have made this trip up here. They are certainly happy about it and making making their pleasure known to this crowd, this big crowd that's fouling out of the GSU Sports Arena at this point in time. Yeah, disappointing crowd leaving. But you look at the fact that the Eagles just played a strong basketball game, never, never releasing their style of play and never changing. And that just goes to show you the Panthers struggled early. You know, many, many great looks at the three-point at three point shots, could not knock them down. The Eagles just uh, played their style of basketball. That's a foul call there on Damon Wilson. And the Eagles close in on what will be their 20th win yes. of the season. They'll be 20 and 13 walking out of this building. Panthers will end up 19 and 13. Unless uh, there's some other type of tournament play left for the Panthers. In the past, I know the Panthers have gotten invited to one of the smaller tournaments. Uh, and we'll see what, 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 what the future holds. All that hinges on what else happens around the country and, of course, on Selection Sunday. Jalen Thomas missing that one. Rebound, ball for it. Juan Jackson got it. Yeah. Three minutes to play in this game. Cross to Ike Smith. Red shirt senior from Gainesville, Florida. How sweet is this for him, huh? Inside, they got away with a little bit of a travel, <laughs> yes, baby. He might be back in Georgia Southern. <laughs> they might be back in Statesboro on those steps. I think the referees just, they understand that it's over. Got a whistle here. And you want to talk about, you know, where, where does Georgia State go from here? Just an example of, 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 of what has to get better. As you see Jalen Thomas get both of his hands on that rebound but couldn't necessarily bring it down. Joe Jones the third, Jalen Thomas, those guys have to get better with their hands. Yes, they're freshmen, but uh, we look to see those guys get a lot of work in the summertime as, as the Eagles, you know, who, whoever, the t some of the players that they're bringing up, you know, everybody has to get better. I'm sure that Coach Lanier and his coaching staff will talk to the players about this feeling that, 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 that they're going to have yeah. after this contest is over. Yep, the bitter feeling for players like Kane Williams is a, is a feeling, feeling they're not accustomed to. Been a part of a success here with this team. So much of this team will be back next year along with some players who are at the red shirt and sit out, be ready to join and Take part with this team, drive to the basket. Nelson Phillips couldn't get that one to fall. It'll be Georgia State basketball. Here we got 221 to play. Yeah. Seems like it's seconds left because two thirds of the arena has, has, has taken an early night. <laughs> and you still got two minutes of, two minutes and twenty one seconds of basketball left to play. Still be Georgia State basketball here. Mark Byington, a big, big win for him and his coaching staff. Yes. Everyone down in Statesboro. They get set to uh, pack their bags and head for New Orleans where the Trojans of Little Rock await them. Driving to count that basket. Nelson Phillips hits the deck. Strong move by Nelson Phillips getting to the basket late in this game. Another player for the Panthers has had a solid season, something that he can build on for next year. Sophomore from Warner Robins, and this is that free throw attempt. Got a whistle here again. Damon Wilson, his third. And you look at Coach Rob Lanier. 
Yep, taking a look at the coaching staff over there, knowing it's a disappointing night. And what do you change when you get to this stage of the season? You try to reinforce the things that you maybe didn't do well when you talk about practices leading up to this. And, I don't you know. know. You, 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 you don't change anything. No, you can't. I mean, you can't afford to. It's too late in the season. But, you know, it, it's, it's, it's all about heart. And, you know, we talk about some of the things that really, really hurt this Panther team early on in the game. We talk about rebounding. Rebounding is heart. You either got to want to go get it or the other team's going to get it. And that's what you saw many opportunities, too many times with uh, Crawley on the boards. He just wanted it more. He was a step quicker, a step faster to the ball than any of the Panthers were. That's why he got so many second chance opportunities. He's got 15 points and 14 rebounds. And he is the factor in this game for sure. Yes. Let's take a look at that. You're looking at Crawley and the amount of offensive rebounds that he had. Yeah, of the 14, and nine, nine offensive rebounds. That, I mean, that, that's your take right there. And nine times out of ten with those with those uh, nine offensive rebounds, they were put back for points, you know, on second chance opportunities for the Eagles. Ike Smith with the basket there. He's in double figures with 11 points. Corey Allen doesn't get that one to fall. Under two minutes to play in the game here. And the crowd that came to the GSU Sports Arena tonight expecting an exciting game. And there's a look at the player, number 53, Isaiah Crawley. He's your Under Armour player of the game. Yes, Isaiah Crawley. We just spoke about him, 15 points, 14 rebounds. The amount of free throws that he missed, he should almost have 20. He should. But just, just the amount of damage he did on the uh, offensive boards is enough to make him the player of the game in, in my book. Well, his last two trips to the GSU Sports Arena have been very productive ones. 18 points, 8 rebounds in the regular season contest. 15 points, 15 rebounds tonight. As I look across the, uh, the arena, Sam, I get a chance to see Ryan Harrell, one of the uh, great Panther players of the past. Yeah. Not used to seeing Georgia Southern come in this building yeah. and, 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 and take a game so, and so, uh, so handedly like that. And I know he's sitting there thinking, man, this this wouldn't have happened. <laughs> but, you know, once again, you go through players, you go through processes. This is a different team, a different group of guys, and, uh, hey, you know, a different mindset. Just like you said earlier, a lot of, a lot of the players on the floor uh, tonight for the Panthers don't understand the tradition uh, of, of, of what these two teams have been through the past four or five years. It's new to them, but I have a feeling they won't forget after tonight. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. Jackson missing that free throw attempt. Quan Jackson, I mean, a <laughs> fantastic looking special. Long arms. Uh, j just uh, just, a, just a, a, a menace on defense. <laughs> Always got his hands in the, in the passing lane. And he's a red shirt junior. He will be back next season. Yes. And we're down to our final minute of the game here. We got a whistle. Timeout and Mark Byington. A good time out, and I think he's just gonna maybe bring some of his veterans out, and, and, that, and he should. I mean, you know, they have to they have to get on a plane tomorrow and get down to New Orleans or a bus, whatever way they choose to travel. Get down to New Orleans for a and big he's game. He's gonna empty the bench here. Oh yeah, I, I would too. I mean, I, 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 what, what does it look like having someone tweak a knee or, or, or bust an Achilles in the last part of this game? Uh, very smart play by him, and uh, once again, this. This team has just shown that they are just an elite team in this conference. But, they, but they'll but they face the, the most elite team, the regular season champions, tomorrow down. Uh, is that game tomorrow? No, this game is a, a Saturday. It's going to be a Saturday game down in New Orleans. Yeah. Thank you. And uh, uh, Arkansas, the Little Rock team. So, hey, they deserve. This team played well, came in here on two separate occasions and took advantage of this arena and really played well. They deserve to be happy with themselves. Byington did let all of his uh, veteran players go to the bench and some other players come in the game and give it a try. Just get some playing time. Yep. Finish things up. Kane Williams going to finish up with a basket here for Georgia State. Williams gives him 20 points in the game. 
Catch it, shoot it. Trying to get your name in the book. Hey, it is what it is. <laughs> He's going to get his name in the book one way or the other. Attempts or something. Nelson Phillips long three. Yeah, just story of the night. Yes. In and out. Catch it, shoot it. Bang. Final 25 seconds of the game here. And this is going to run that guy out of whistle here. Him out and up off the bench. Kalik Brooks is going to get a chance to come in, and Damon Wilson's going to go out. The senior final game. Georgia State gets a big hug from Rob Lanier. Want to know what that young man's feeling right now? The last basketball game that he will play in a Georgia State Panther uniform. Certainly it's uh, bittersweet. Not to, you know, certainly to go out like this. Get a chance for Ito Yuminami. Yes. Sophomore from Mooresville, North Carolina at the line. It's 5'6". All of 5'6". That's stretch. That's stretching him. Might be standing on some phone books. <laughs> but uh, he knocks down two free knocks throws. Knocks down so. a couple of free throws. Yes, he is in the books. In the uh, conference tournament quarterfinal game. That's right. That's right. He's probably got more heart and more hustle. Yep. And he's a sophomore. He'll be back next season. And you got guys in the game right now. They want they want to get a bit of the action. They they understand the game is out of touch. But hey, this is my time to shine. So hey, you get my chance. Let's hoop. <laughs> Let's hoop. Let's play for how much time they are. They're the players who got it done for Georgia Southern tonight. Motion and having some fun with the Georgia Southern fans who've made their way to downtown Atlanta. Yes, you it'll got be a happy ride back to Statesboro. No doubt. We got signs. We skipped class for this for this for this game. Go Eagles. State, not Southern, huh? Always, uh, who's the real GSU? Always, always. <laughs> and they're going to get those bragging rights tonight. Yes, they will. They're going to dribble out the clock, and that is the way this one is going to end. Bitter, disappointing season. Great season, but a disappointing end for the Georgia State team. As Georgia Southern will leave it with the win. Yes. 81-62, final score. A deserving win. Uh, the Eagles came in and they played their hearts out and they really, really took advantage, took advantage. Their game plan just, just willed their way, willed their style of play on the Panthers. They took advantage of everything that the Panthers did not do, did not get offensive, did not get defensive rebounds, took advantage. 50-50 balls, took advantage. That's, that's the game right there. That's the key. That's the key. They get ready to pack it away. Yes. They hit the weight room in a few, in a few months for the summer play. What is this Georgia State, this Georgia Southern leads the team? What is this Georgia State team that to do? It's going to be a bitter, bitter taste that's going to linger for a while. Well, it, it, it needs to, and it needs to, you know, it needs to be something that, you know, when you forget where you come from, you tend to go back that same direction. So this is this is a game that they will never forget no time soon. Even the guys that have red-shirted, you know, Toppin coming from Georgia and, 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 and Easy coming from Cincinnati, yep. even those guys will understand how bittersweet this loss is how bitter this loss is for this program, and hopefully we'll never forget it. This curtain brings the curtain down the season. Partner, it's always a pleasure always. working with you. Always enjoyed it. Really enjoyed every single minute of it. Learned a lot. Just really enjoyed the process. Thank you very much. Fantastic. Thanks. And also a tip of the cap for Amy Walker to all of our crew, best crew in town, that put these games on together for us each and every week. Well, we hope you've enjoyed them as well. So for Rodney Truck, Turner, Joe Rucker, I'm Sam Crenshaw saying so long. Georgia State Sports Arena, final score, Georgia Southern 81, Georgia State 62. All games airing on the ESPN Network, streaming live and archived on the ESPN app. This has been a presentation of ESPN.